Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. You are so silly. Apollo. Why are you acting like that? Apollo. Me? Yes. <laughs> Just. And what's going on here? You know what? I'm so disappointed in Phaedra. I really am. <laughs> because you look like, like we said, like you said on our, for last week, is that she had a real opportunity to really get this whole Come thing straight. both of them together. together. At the same time. The way she walked over there, the way she sat down. And then I thought her was already pulled back. She didn't have on much of nothing, so she, she could have she she turned straight, straight. But then she got up and just walked out. It takes two. Right. So I don't like the fact that Phaedra's always, you know, bashing Kenya. Get your husband, too. That's true. Get him. Well, not even if she don't get him by Kenya. Because it takes two. That's true. But let's talk about when she was locked out of her room. She was locked out of her room, and Apollo refused to <laughs> help her get a key. Get a key. Because he, how, first of all, how you go, that's that reverse psychology shit. How you go get mad because she mad at you being disrespectful? Respectful, right. Are you going to come back? No, I'm ready to go to bed. It's so 2 o'clock in the morning. So see, this is how this should have gone. Apollo should have told Kenya, listen, I don't feel comfortable talking to you without my wife here. Mm-hmm. Let me go get her, mm -hmm. and then we can handle this. Now, Apollo, out of respect for your wife, you should have asked your wife to please stay. Mm -hmm. Please stay so you can hear what she yeah, has to say. Yeah, you should have got up and went after and your that, wife. And, and beyond that, Apollo, own up to your lies in front of your wife. In front of your wife as well. Mm -hmm. You know, but don't, don't sit and disrespect your wife even after she's upset and then she leaves and goes sit on the steps in her room. And you left her there. And then you left her there. That was totally out of line. Out of line. That was totally, totally out of line. But he tried to make it back up. You know, her birthday was around the same time yeah. he was there. So he wanted to make it back up for her. So he got all the girls together, put together a surprise party for her, which I thought was really cute. You know, there they had the piñata. Yeah, until the piñata got burst and it was full of condoms. Like, why would you get a piñata and fill it with condoms for your wife? That doesn't make sense. If anything, it's Phaedra. Put some snicker bars or something in there. <laughs> why don't you fill it with some <laughs> some condoms? Or to put some little gummy bears or, you know, some, some snicker bars. Some, some, some nice little, and sweet. Some can, you know, some candy yams or some honey bars <laughs> or something. But not, not, but not condoms. Not condoms. I mean, you know, then, but the lightheartedness of it is that Portia tried to do it and knocked over the damn cake. Well, that's Portia. I, don't, I mean, I'm, yeah, you know. So then now everybody gets to give a speech. Candy gave a nice, sentimental speech. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then Apollo's then speech Apollo's was speech. like less than uh, 0.1 second. My baby girl, listen. I just want to thank you for being the mother of my children, my two lovely boys. And, you know, let's just continue to move forward. What he did not mean, he didn't mention anything about being a wife, being her being his wife, mm -hmm. or you know, being so in supportive, love, being in love, or anything like that. I'm glad you're in my life. Which really makes me question his motives, and uh, or the, as, as, was that really an arranged marriage, or was that the arranged marriage? Mm -hmm. So moving on, <clears throat> Kenya did a reincarnated pillow talk event, mm -hmm. <laughs> which actually started out good. It started out good. I mean, the first question was a good question. Do you like wild sex or do you like romantic sex? But wrong person to answer. Romantic sex to me kind of means um, just like with an older guy, you know, like it's slow and you know, you just romance it with the guy. Older oh, guy. <laughs> then Nene got turned up and called Portia ignorant. ignorant in so many words, then turned around and called, called Candy, Candy ignorant. ignorant. They called, talk, called Todd ignorant. Then called Todd ignorant. <laughs> and then um, people raised their eyebrow at me because I said, I don't think if you go out to a club one night and you decide to have a little one quick one night stand, I don't consider that cheating. You don't? I, I think cheating is developing an actual relationship outside of the relationship mm -hmm. that you're in or having a sexual partner outside of your relationship. That is considered cheating. But going out, having a, a one night stand, I, I consider that just being careless. You're being a careless partner. Well, that's, that's what I think. I think that your, your, your thoughts on cheating is for a matured relationship. Right. Well, it's, for me, it's just reality. It's for mm -hmm. someone that looks, that, that looks through um, realistic eyes on a relationship, mm -hmm. and then and, and that's me. I, like I refuse to set myself up and be naive to the fact that a that a man is just gonna be a man. Right. But nevertheless, moving on from that. But no, no, you gave a good that you gave a good answer because that question <laughs> was for you originally. It but was for me. That question got 
thrown across the room. Who threw it across the room? Fader and Apollo, what are your views on that? Because y'all over there uh, quiet it out. Everybody know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to hear what they had to say about that. What do you well, feel about? That's... What do you feel is cheating in a relationship? Well, they had two opposite answers. <laughs> <laughs> All people cheat. I feel like some given point, there's a breaking point. If you gonna cheat and you wanna cheat, you should not be getting married. So that was also that was all going good. And I think Kenya, Kenya was like, you know what? This is enough for the whole couples thing. Let's send the boys away. So it was the girls still at the pillow talk. The guys are in the hotel room, and all hell breaks loose on both ends. On both ends. On both ends. Phaedra said she was on the verge of slapping Kenya, slapping, slapping her. My first thing was like, do I slap the dog out of her? But again, I'm. Phaedra, why are you so angry? I get that you're angry. I get you probably angry at Kenya. You don't like her, and that's okay. Right. But you got to be also angry at your husband. Angry at your husband. Why you ain't mm -hmm. turn up on your husband when he sat there and walked off and left you on the steps? Now it's two things. It's two things that can. I can. It's two ways I can take this. One, either she is really just trying to direct everything to Kenya, or I, that's what I get. Or the second thing she can be is a good wife. And what I say about that, what I mean by as a good wife is that. I'm not going to get you on this camera. I'm not going to get you in front of these people because I don't want to disrespect you as my husband. But he's getting her on camera. That is true. And, and no, no, he's no. disrespecting I, her as a wife I, no, no, on no. camera. No, no, no. I understand all that. But you know, Phaedra, she claims to be this old Southern belle, Southern woman that has these old, you know, um, you know, she has all yeah. these old characteristics. Yeah. And, you know, and a woman back in the day would never. She has just very traditional, the traditional point of view. Right. Yeah. So, you know, back in the day, a woman would never do anything to disrespect to her husband, regardless of what her husband is doing in front of an audience. So I wanna I want I, I just wanna I just don't wanna think that she just is just gonna bash Kenya. So I wanna say that she does get him, but not just Maybe in front so. of folks. That could be that, that could be the reason. Now, so moving on to the main event, the 200-year-old men, honey, <laughs> the, old, the oldest men on the island, the oldest men in Mexico, Peter and Greg, want to sit and law them up on each other. I'm going to tell her how I you. You want to live? I'm going to tell her how I feel. You want to live? Are you threatening me? Actually, I didn't understand Greg being upset because when I look back at the episode that he confronted, referred to, that he referred to when he confront that he confronted Peter about, Nene actually walked up to Peter. To Peter. Nene, Nene started it. Nene walked up to Peter, yeah. Mm. So, you know, but I get but Greg. I would, yeah, Greg, but Greg, you know, was, Greg did what a man should have done. For his wife. For his wife. He did what a man should have done. So I applaud Greg but for that. It was a whole bunch of But barking. I think it could have been handled better than them acting like, you know, you know, 18-year-olds when kill, clearly they're in their 80s. Right. <laughs> Man, do you want to live? Do you want to live? Don't touch me. Don't hold me. Now you didn't. I got and and osteoporosis and everything in his back. Can't even damn move. Don't hold me. And I, Don't hold me. And I, and I, I, I've never seen Greg mad. So me either. So it was, it was weird seeing him in that moment. But um, so all that barking was going on. The women here. The women come running. Dead Mama Nini coming in. <laughs> Who right? What y'all arguing about? Everybody shut up. Everybody, why am I so scared of Nene? Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so, you know, she come in. She get it all together. She you know she figuring out what's happening. The next thing you know, her and Peter get to argue. She all up in Peter's face. Why Cynthia standing right here? You need to stay out of women business. You stop Listen. trying to be a damn bitch. Now, that is out of, of line. line. And disrespectful. That's out of line. Uh, now, I know Nene is legendary for just flying out the coop, let anything come out of her mouth, but... Before you speak, you have to take in you have to take into um, perspective the respect mm -hmm. level when you're talking to another individual, especially, especially when your girl, especially when you're one of your best friends. Not even an individual, a grown man. A grown man. With his, with the, with his wife, what his wife said right next to. Now the read is for Cynthia. Cynthia, you know I love you down, girl. But Cynthia, girl. But you supposed to have took them little school teacher glasses off, I'm girl. I'm just for your man. You supposed to toss her that hair real quick or pull her back real quick. And be given slow down, down low down. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Now, what you won't do is sit up and call my, my man, man a bitch, bitch. in my right. face. Mm -hmm. Now, you can call him every name in the book. But a bitch is not one but of them. A bitch ain't one. Yeah. So, Cynthia. So, Cynthia. That ain't cool. Yeah, that, yeah, I ain't like that. And, that, and that's how it ended. So, we got to wait. That's how it ended. So I, can't wait till wait. Next, I can't wait till next week. I can't wait till next week. So, mm. catch us back. So, that's the tea for this week. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you.